organizers of the event were trying to get her to uh, meet this fan, and she said, wait a minute, I don't want to meet fans right this minute. This person came up to me and said I, he needed to talk to me, <clears throat> and I said, I'm sorry, and I turned around and was looking in the face of Dr. Martin Luther King. <laughs> And what's typical about Nichelle when she meets celebrities of all types, um, they want to tell her about how she affected their life. Uh, Dr. King was telling her, Star Trek is the only show that he lets his children watch. It was always a wonderful experience because dad did not have a lot of time uh, to, uh, to actually uh, watch anything with us because he was so engaged in uh, civil and human rights. Uh, campaigns and, and the struggle. But I guess in retrospect, it was important to him, but it certainly was important to us to have time with our dad. She then says to him, well, I'm so glad you feel this way. And, you know, I'll be going off into another career move. And he's stunned. He says, what do you mean? He says, well, I just turned in my resignation. Dr. King says, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't leave. And my first thought was what you told my dog, Martin Luther. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to tell me how to run my life now. She says, well, I, the work I'm doing is I'm just delivering a line or two in each show. I'm really not using my craft to any great extent. He said, you don't understand the effect that you are having, not only on black people, not only on young women, but on everybody. Everybody's mind and attitude is changed immeasurably simply because you are there. 